This training mission follows the procedures described on the flight manual of the real thing adapted for use on the A4E of DCS. The step numbers, when provided, corresponds to those of the NATOPS manual, and are given to allow easy reference to it. The checklist includes the following sections. Using TACN to locate the carrier. Pattern entry, pattern, landing. Wave off, shutdown. Currently, there is a bug that prevents carrier recovery if starting in flight, so we will begin the training by taking off from a land airbase. The aircraft is ready to take off, except that the flaps have not yet been deployed. Please extend the flaps to its mid position, using either your HOTAS or the highlighted lever. Press, space button, press the flaps in the mid position. Take off. Hold the wheel brakes, and then smoothly increase power to 90%. Good, now release the brakes and begin the takeoff run. Increase the power to 100%, rotation will be at 125 knots. One hundred twenty five knots, begin rotation by pulling on the flight stick. On the air, use trim to adjust attitude to 10 degrees pitch up. Retract the gear by clicking the lever or pressing the G key. Retract the flaps once you attain 170 knots, using the HOTAS or the F key. Good, now climb to 3000 feet and cruise at 300 knots. Use trim to stabilize the aircraft and attain horizontal flight. We will use our TACAN receiver to get our fleet's bearing. First, set the TACAN mode to transmit receive. The Stennis TACAN is 74x. To tune the station 74, right click on the center of the tuning dial, until a 4 shows on the bottom of the channel window. Good. Now, right click on the outer part of the tuning dial, until a 7 shows on the middle of the channel window, it should display 74. Finally, Adjust the volume knob until you can just hear the TACAN station's Morse code, to confirm that it is correctly tuned. Next, set the BDHI switch to the TACAN position, so that the instrument's main pointer will show data from the TACAN. Check the BDHI, bearing, distance and heading indicator, its main needle, the thicker one, is now showing the bearing towards the TACAN station. The small numeric window on the instrument, shows the distance to the station, in nautical miles. Turn your aircraft so that the needle is pointing to its 12 o'clock position, this will set you on a course towards the carrier. The carrier holding altitude assigned to our flight is 2,000 feet. Start a descent so that you reach that altitude by the time we reach 10 nautical miles from the carrier. Set the low altitude warning cue to 2,000 feet on the radar altimeter, to get a warning if we get below that level. Remember to use the trim hat on the hoodas, to make more subtle changes on the pitch attitude of the aircraft. The key commands are Trim nose up equals right plus control plus dot Trim nose down equals right plus control plus semi comma
you are now at 10 nautical miles from the carrier and the fleet should be within sight. To enter the recovery pattern, alter your heading, towards the trailing most ship of the fleet, to our left. Reduce speed and altitude, so that you arrive over that ship at 250 knots and 800 feet. You are now just over the trailing ship, turn hard right. The carrier heading is 6 degrees. Fly parallel to the carrier, at 250 knots and 800 feet, aim for the ship that is just ahead of the carrier, to its right. At that point we will initiate the brake maneuver. Extend the tail hook, using HOTAS or the left ALT plus G keys. Initiate a level break to the left, strive to maintain 800 feet until you have completed the break. Extend landing gear and flaps, speed should be 225 knots. Descend to 600 feet and attain optimum AOS speed. Check brakes. Course 185 degrees. Now turn left, towards the carrier. Maintain optimum AOA speed, descend to 500 feet. Now turn left to enter the groove. Maintain optimum AOA speed,
Now turn left, towards the carrier. Maintain optimum AOA speed, descend to 500 feet. Now turn left to enter the groove. Maintain optimum AOA speed. is insured, retard the throttle to idle. Allow the aircraft to roll back a bit, to permit the hook to disengage from the pendant. Then, apply wheel brakes judiciously to prevent the aircraft from rolling back. Following arrestment, immediately place master exterior light switch to off and raise the hook, using HOTAS or the left plus ALT plus G keys. Taxi out of the landing area as soon as possible, to let other aircrafts land. For the Skyhawk there is no interaction with the plane director, so you should locate a free spot to park and taxi there by yourself. Press, spacebar, once you have cleared the landing area. While taxing, retract the speed brakes, and retract the flaps. Press, spacebar, once you are at your park spot. Securing engine. We will now perform this procedure before exiting the aircraft. 1. Flaps. Up. 2. Speed brakes. Retract if still open. 3. Spoilers. Confirm they are closed, and its switch is off. 4. Horizontal stabilizer trim. Set to 0 degrees. Five. Drop tank switch. Set to off, with a right click. 6. Turn off radios and all electrical equipment. A. Terrain radar. Off. B. Countermeasures. Switch to off. C. APR 25 and APR 27, ECM devices. Confirm off. D. APN 153, Doppler radar. Set to off. D. ASN 41, navigation computer. Confirm that it's off. E. UHF radio. Check that it is off. E. DAC and receiver. Set to its off position. 11. Canopy. Open dot by pulling the lever. Press, spacebar, once it is fully open. 7. Ask the ground crew to place wheel chocks. Press the backslash key to open the communications menu. Press F8. Ground crew. Press F4. Wheel chocks. Press F1. Place wheel chocks. Chief, place the wheel Press chocks. spacebar once the chocks are in place. Copy. Wheel chocks are now in place. 14. With engine stabilized at idle, set the throttle off by clicking on the twice. Wait until the engine comes to a complete stop. It may take a bit.
15. Oxygen switch. Confirm it is off. Congratulations, you have successfully finished this training mission. Please exit the mission by pressing the escape key.